Our next inductee has touched many lives through her medical career and her passion for education. Learning how to work on her family's farm, Dr. Mary Owen was respected for her dedication and generosity throughout the medical community. Twenty fourteen Cowgirl Hall of Fame honoree, Dr. May Owen. From Texas farm girl to influential doctor, Dr. May Owen changed the world with her strong work ethic, intelligence, and passion for education. Born in 1891 to Jack and Lily Owen, May was one of eight children raised on a farm in Falls County, Texas. She had a way with animals from an early age, breaking horses and caring for sick livestock in a way that often impressed the local veterinarian. Nine-year-old May decided that she wanted to be a doctor. Despite the cultural climate discouraging women from forging this type of path and being told this career was a ridiculous idea, May Owen did not give up. Owen loved to learn. From the time she was a child until she attended Texas Christian University in Fort Worth on a scholarship. She traveled home on weekends to help on the farm, boarding the train early every Monday morning to get back to school. Still, May graduated at the top of her class in 1917. She worked for Dr. Truman C. Terrell at his pathology laboratory as a courier, and he insisted she apply to medical school after graduation. He loaned her the money to pay for it. After receiving several rejections because of her gender, Owen was surprised to gain entrance to Louisville Medical School in Kentucky. She was the only woman in her class. She graduated with a medical degree in 1921. Dr. Owen went to work at Fort Worth North Texas Pasteur Institute Lab and gained a respected reputation among local veterinarians and doctors. There, she eventually became chief pathologist and also served as the first female president of the Texas Society of Pathologists, the Tarrant County Medical Society, and the Texas Medical Association. Her medical accomplishments were significant the world over. In 1931, stockyards officials asked Dr. Owen to help diagnose a disease causing the feedlot sheep to fall ill and die. She discovered that because the animals were fed molasses cake to improve the flavor of the mutton, they had developed diabetes. Publishing her findings in veterinary journals changed the way sheep were fattened internationally. In 1953, she diagnosed a mysterious disease killing off cattle caused by how cattle pellets were processed. Owen connected the same materials to a human disease called cable dermatitis, which affected factory workers involved in synthetic material production. She was made an honorary member of the American Veterinary Medical Association in 1963. Dr. Owen's greatest contribution to medical science was discovering the dangers of talcum powder in surgical gloves. Presented with a mysterious case of a woman who became very ill months after receiving an appendectomy, Dr. Owen made the connection the powder left behind from the surgeon's gloves caused peritonitis. Presenting her findings at the 1936 Texas Medical Association meeting resulted in drastic changes for patients undergoing abdominal surgeries, and glove manufacturers moved to a starch-based powder. It also made her a state celebrity. Education had been a precious tool to Dr. Owen, and she wanted others to have similar opportunities. She loaned tuition money to a handful of servicemen returning from World War II for medical school. Called May's Boys, their success stories led to the eventual establishment of the May Owen Nursing Scholarship and the May Owen Trust, both of which continue to financially aid nursing and medical students. Her dedication to education was exemplified by her service on the Board of Trustees for Tarrant County Junior College from 1965 until 1988. In 1974, Owen endowed a chair in pathology at Texas Tech University, and in 1976, she helped establish the Terrell School of Medical Technology. Her influence was reflected in numerous awards and recognitions, receiving honorary doctorates from both Texas Christian University and Texas Tech University. Dr. Owen worked until the day she died in 1988 at the age of 96, leaving a legacy of hope and opportunity. We are proud to welcome this world-changing Dr. May Owen into the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame.
Dr. John Smith became friends and colleagues with Dr. Owen when he started practicing in Fort Worth in 1965. They remained as such until her death in 1988. Not only have they served as president of the Tarrant County Medical Society, but they've also been honored as Gold Cane Awards recipients. Let's join together to welcome Dr. Smith to the stage. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'll tell you, I'm very grateful and honored to be invited here to memorize, uh, memorialize Dr. May Owen. I became acquainted with her over 50 years ago and I was privileged to work with her day to day for, until shortly before she died. She was admired, respected, and loved by all who knew and worked with her. She received many honors throughout her lifetime, but they didn't change her at all. She remained a hard worker, she was humble, and she was always just as she began, a country girl from Falls County, Texas. The uh, characteristics of the recipients of induction into the Hall of Fame are listed in your program, and May Owen perfectly fits that description. And I thank you for honoring her at this most appropriate induction ceremony. Thank you very much. Dr. Smith, thank you so much.